Hi guys, James here and welcome to another video from JJ Model Making. If this is the first time here then welcome, it's great to have you. I post regular videos about my favourite hobby, building scale models of various shapes and sizes including 1 to 350 scale warships, Star Wars and everything in between. If this is something you find interesting, and I'm guessing it might be if you're watching this, then please consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell notification icon to make sure you don't miss anything. Well, with that out of the way, here's my latest update on the Wanda 350 scale USS New York Amphibious Landing Dock Kit by Revel. Way back in part 2 of the build, the basic hull assembly was complete, the weld deck was installed, and I painted the anti fouling red hull colour. I was inspired by finishing my Ticonderoga guided missile cruiser recently. I wanted to finish the New York off, and boy am I getting there. After dust coating the hull Tamiya Sky Grey, next came more detailed parts followed by the photo wedge. Lots and lots and lots of photo wedge. This Platinum Edition kit comes with three frets of etch, as well as a metal anchor chain. Here you can see just how much etch has gone into the kit. This took a couple of sittings, but with a little bit of patience it all went down in place okay. Quick question though, do you glue your etch down with super glue or PVA? I'm thinking of trying PVA next time, let me know any tips and tricks you might have in the comments below. Once dry I spray the deck and hull sides with the sky grey before moving on to two darker shades of grey for the deck and the flight deck. I undercoated the aircraft I intend to use for the flight deck with an airbrush. I will next be painting them with Vallejo Model Air Blue Grey, hopefully it looks something a bit like this. Lastly I glue the life rafts in place before going around the hull to tidy up any little overspills. So there we have it, progress at last. Next is to finish the last bits of the ship, apply a gloss coat and then move on to the decals and weathering. After that finish the air wing as well as building the marine vehicles to include in the LCAC or landing craft air cushion or hovercraft, depends on what you think of it. And then I think we're pretty much done. So thanks for watching, if you do like the video hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more model making fun. See you next time, bye bye!